This is not your mother's cold cream. This is your grandmother's cold cream. If you're a soap and water girl, remember soap removes natural oils, can leave skin tight, flaky, and soap doesn't reach deep set dirt. So, once a day, really cleanse with Pond's Cold Cream. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Mon Mon. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am testing out a vintage beauty product. No, this is not a product that expired a thousand years ago. This is something that you can still buy on the shelves today. Today, I am giving you everything you need to know about cold cream, specifically Pond's Cold Cream. This is the OG of cold creams. But first, let's start with what actually is a cold cream. The invention of cold cream is credited to Galen, a Greek physician who used a mixture of rose, oil and water to create a pleasant fragrance, which is feminine, and combined it with either beeswax or olive oil. This created a thick blend, which was used to moisturize, shave and remove makeup with. A cold cream is an emulsion of water and certain fats, generally beeswax and things like that, as well as a couple of scents that come together in a cold to the touch cream that is used for smoothing out the skin and removing makeup. The cream is a water in oil emulsified concoction as opposed to an oil in water, meaning that it doesn't disappear into the skin and you can see it sit on the skin surface as you use it. Now the main benefits of a cold cream is that it is super moisturizing. So for those with really dry and cracked skin, especially in the wintry months like I get, cold cream can become your new best friend. That's not to say it doesn't work if you don't have dry skin, but that is the main benefit of something like this. It is also excellent in its makeup removal power. One of the main things I was also concerned about when I started using this cream was will it clog my pores and break me out? The main answer is no, it will not. With daily use, this will now bring sebum and dirt from your pores out into the surface and you wash them away. Because it is also moisturizing, it stops your skin producing excess oils, which does lead to things like acne and blackheads. So this has actually been really good. Originally, cold cream was used as a cleanser and a makeup remover. I personally use it as a pre-cleanser. I have been using oil cleansing balms for several years now, so I thought this would replace my general oil cleanser, and I am really surprised with the results. Here's how to do a really thorough job of removing makeup. First, pin your hair well back out of the way, and if you wish, Cover it with a hand towel. Start to work with a cold cream. Smooth it on thoroughly all over the face, clear up to the hairline and down under the jaw. Give extra attention to the pockets at the base of the nose and the cleft of the chin. Spread the cream on using little spiral motions, always working upward. But please, not too rough. No need to pull or push your face around. It's the gentle massage with the cream that gets results. Now, tissue the cream off with long, thorough sweeps. Switch to a clean spot in the tissue after each sweep so that you don't track the grime right back again. At this point, lots of girls like to rinse with more cold cream to make sure they've removed every bit of stale makeup. So cold cream itself has been around for over 2,000 years, which is ridiculous for a product that you can still get on your pharmacy shelves. Pons itself has been around since the 1800s. The main problem that a lot of people have with this one is that one of its basic ingredients is mineral oils and it also still has a beeswax in it, meaning that it's not vegan. What you can though get today are handcrafted cold creams. 
I have found several online. Unfortunately, I haven't tried any, so I'm scared recommending them to you. But you can get handcrafted ones off Etsy and places like that where people have created their own, which are mineral oil free. One thing I do love about the Pond's Cold Cream though is the fragrance. I know I've said time and time again that I'm not a huge fan of fragrances in products, but it just smells so delightful. You know that lovely powdery, slightly rose granny scent? Mmm, yep, that is exactly what this smells like. It just reminds me of when I used to volunteer at nursing homes and most of the old ladies smell like this. This is why, because they were using it for so long. As you can see, the cold cream is lovely and thick. It stays put on the spatula and doesn't slide around. When I place it on my skin, as you can see when I'm rubbing it in, it is not soaking in, it is not dripping or going anywhere, and no matter how much I rub it, it just stays put right there. It doesn't go anywhere. Pond's Color Cream is super affordable. This entire jar cost me about $4.90 from a local chemist. And you can get them online as well. Pond's has different variations. I think they have one for sensitive skin as well. And that is everything you need to know about cold cream and especially Pond's Cold Cream. I had a lot of fun researching this and I hope that you now are a little bit more keen to try something like this. Please let me know if this is something you would give a go or if you'd be interested in me trying out some of the more handcrafted ones from independent sellers which don't have mineral oils and beeswax in them. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been a lot of fun creating this video for you. As always, if you'd like to subscribe or follow me on any of my socials, all the links are down below, including the link to my blog, which has a, another instructional article on Pond's Cold Cream, if you haven't already learned enough. I will be seeing you all in the next video, so until then, look after yourselves and each other. Bye! Now your skin looks radiantly clear, creamy smooth. Once a day, beauty cleanse with Pond's, Pond's Cold Cream.